Hi you guys, happy Wednesday. Welcome back to another vlog. Huh, I've just had a long past couple of days. I don't know, I've kind of been in like a little bit of a funk and I'm not really sure why. We're halfway through the week, we're doing good. We'll make it through, but I'm gonna run to Target and just kind of walk around a little bit and get out of the house. Ryan's not gonna be home till late tonight. And honestly, I think I'll probably just like pick up Chick-fil-A or like something close by just to make my life easier tonight. I don't know. It's just been, I honestly think I'm, I need like a couple PTO days and I need to be better about taking those off. Like I should have extended Memorial Day weekend. So I think I'm gonna take a couple days in June. Just gives you like a nice refresh so that you don't get burnt out. The last couple days hasn't been hard because of work specifically. I don't know why. I've just been in a weird mood. So we're going to go look through Target, see what we can find. We can always find stuff. But I'm trying not to spend a lot of money because I know all the sales are going to be on this weekend. And I'd rather wait for that and get some stuff that I actually need. I feel like Target today had like barely anything. I was shocked. Usually I can find like a million things. But I just got some cleaner for the house in the rainwater scent. I love that scent. I think it's a spring scent, if I'm not mistaken. And then this is my favorite Olipop, the cream soda of all time. It's like the best flavor. And then I just got a little four pack of some lemon lime poppy. I want to do some mocktails or like cocktails with that. And then these were speaking to me. I haven't had them in a while and I love a cheese it so I grabbed those. And that was everything. I saw some art that I kind of liked, possibly a coffee table. I don't know if it's really my style or not. I think I took a couple of clips for you guys, but I'm gonna go run through the Chick-fil-A drive-thru and I'm debating if we go to Crumble. I've never tried Crumble and neither has Ryan. Maybe today's the day. It'll be a good pick me up. As long as it's good, right? But We'll see. These look insane. Can't wait for Ryan's <laughs> thoughts on these. They are so massive. They smell good, but I will say they kind of smell like cookie dough. And I don't know that that's like, I don't know. Like, are they gonna be super cakey type? I'm most excited, I think, about that one and that one. That one I don't know about, but I was like, no point in getting a chocolate chip. We love making chocolate chip cookies at home, you know? Today is one of those 20% days where you say, like, I'm going to eat good 80% of the time and the other 20% is, is what it is. <laughs> that's today. And that's sometimes you just need, like, a middle of the week pick me up and this is going to be it. I got myself um, a small fry and then Ryan a large and then a chicken sandwich for him i've had their mac and cheese in forever so i wanted to try it again kind of random holy shit did you hear that engine rev okay sorry about that there was like a really loud car that went by but i got mac and cheese because i haven't tried it in forever i just wanted ryan will eat whatever if I don't like it. And then he always gets a couple strips. And then I got myself some nuggets. I almost got the grilled nuggets, but I don't know how I feel. I usually get like buffalo sauce when I do grilled nuggets. I just was not in a buffalo sauce mood. I wanted Polynesian. And I've mentioned this before, but I've worked at Chick-fil-A in high school for a couple years. So I kind of get particular about what I like because I feel like I ate it a lot back then. Hi you guys, happy Saturday. Oh no, I'm wrong, it's Sunday. This weekend is gonna fly by with tomorrow being Memorial Day, but Yesterday we went to the racetrack, hung out with some friends, and then Ryan's on call, so it's kind of been a little bit of a shit show. But today, um, my mom's finally home from her vacation, 
and she gave me a bunch of cute little stuff that she brought back um i'll show that to you guys later maybe but we went and got bagels we tried a new place it was called brooklyn water bagels apparently they import their water from new york um super good bacon egg and cheese and then we got scallion cream cheese on everything bagel i think that's gonna be my spot i was telling my mom i should have got like a baker's dozen and froze them because i love a good bagel but anyways after that we went to the tampa outlet malls just to kind of see what they had my mom needed some shorts and stuff and then um brian needed a couple things and then i found a couple things for myself too and then i got a couple packages that came to the door so i just figured we'd do like a little bit of a collective haul i am um gonna place a couple orders just with all the sales going on for some shorts and stuff that i need to i just didn't find any shorts today that i really liked but i did order this t-shirt off of revolve the brand is stamps and matter i just thought it would be cute with those little lace shorts that i got because it's like oversized have the lace stick out the bottom and this is like more my vibe than the striped one i originally was thinking for that outfit and then super random off of amazon we got one of these bug bite things the mosquitoes are so so bad um and they can just like get you over and over again so this is supposed to help with the itch i don't know so we're gonna see it says you can use it on other stinging stuff too that's interesting anyways we'll see how that works Smokey wants to say hi, I think, because he keeps screaming. What's going on? Hmm? You purring? Let's get you a cookie so you relax. And then the last thing, I ordered some swimsuits from Same. They're the brand that makes like those floral ones like with the little flowers they're having a big sale on like all of their stuff um it would be cute maybe for like a pool day i just don't feel like i don't know just was not my thing so i got this one was super cheap so it must be like one of their older styles um but it's just this cobalt blue which i love but then it has the little beads on the side i thought that was super cute and it just ties on one side and I loved the color. And then I think the top is just like a little triangle, yeah. With like the little same bead on it in the middle. I thought that was cute. Curious also to see if they're like worth the price. Obviously these were a super good deal. But see if they're worth it like full price, you know. Swimwear is tough. Swimwear is just super expensive. It always, I feel like, has been. Everything's separate, which I feel like is good. So a lot of people wear, I feel like, different size bottoms and tops. But the price per piece is just insanity. Then I got this, like, little denim one. I'm really excited about this one. And it has, like, the little detail in the middle. I think that'll be cute. It'll be good for tanning, too, you know? And it's like a denim blue. And then the bottoms are cute too. It has it like in the front. I'll be interested to see how that works. With like shaving and stuff. But I hope the sizes are good. I feel like this one has a little less stretch to it. So she's going to be a little bit tight. So that was stuff that came in the mail. And it came super fast. Within a couple days. I feel like not even two full days which i'm used to with revolve but i was surprised with this brand and then as far as stuff at the outlet mall i was looking for shorts and they did have a levi's and they had some 501s i just wasn't like a fan of the fits i don't know why but um i just got two little tank tops these are like super incredibly soft just to have and really i just needed like a thicker white one because all mine are very thin 
Um, and I think with this, I could wear like a nude bra and be okay. Or um, pasties or whatever. And then I think everything else is for Ryan except I found two things at Gap. So I got these linen pants, which I love the tiny like pinstripe on them instead of the thick. I don't know if you can really see that. They're just like straight leg. And then I got this sweater. It's super heavy duty, but I thought this would be cute like summer evenings, like when you go to the beach after it's like open knit um, for the most part throw it over a bikini type of thing once it starts to cool off. I don't know, I just really needed a white sweater. So anyways, that was all I got for myself. The rest of the stuff I got for Ryan, just some like shorts and t-shirts and swim, like swim trunks and stuff like that. So I'm gonna put all of this away and then go get changed because I'm super hot. Then probably gonna sit down and relax for a little bit. We're kicking off Memorial Day weekend food with some snow crab. I'm gonna just, it comes frozen. We get this at Sam's. We like it. The cluster size is pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna rinse them to get the ice off and then bring this to a boil we're gonna put some old bay yeah i'm, I'm excited i should have bought salted butter but i didn't even think about it okay never mind i found this and this is salted so that works even better i just hate using this butter for that type of stuff because it's like your spreadable kind Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. I'm gonna go do my hair in a minute, but I'm gonna put some sunscreen and stuff on. My mom and I were gonna go to the beach today, but we ended up hanging out yesterday. And then my friend is having a pool party, but I told her I couldn't make it because originally I had plans with my mom. So I think Ryan and I might do like go over to the beach for like sunset, see if there's any fireworks, maybe get dinner or grab like ice cream or something. Just kind of have a relaxing day. I wanted to go to the pool party, but sometimes it could be hard to get out of there, if that makes sense. And being that it's a Monday, I was really wishing she threw it yesterday because it just makes it a little bit easier to have like a day break in between before work starts back up but this friend is a lot of fun so it's usually quite the day you know if that makes sense but I still would have gone but again like I said I kind of told everybody different stuff and now plans have changed so we'll see I could maybe go over there later I took a break on using the Paula's Choice BHA like exfoliator really just because I ran out and I need to order more but what I've noticed in the week break of not using it I feel like my pores are less visible and I wonder if I was over using it like over exfoliating because like the appearance of my pores would come back like the day after and now I've noticed that they're a little less apparent. So I don't know, maybe I'll get like a mini again and just exfoliate like once a week, but I think having it, I wasn't using it every day, maybe like three times a week, but I have heard that before where if you like over exfoliate, it just causes the extra oil, you know, production and stuff that fills your pores. So we're going to just test and see that. I haven't been loving my skin lately. It's been kind of dull. And like I said, the pores have been really driving me crazy. So I'm going to go back to my original skincare routine and see if that fixes the problem i ordered the different adapalene gel which is like a form of retinol basically um but it's over the counter instead of having to have like tret prescribed or anything but anyways that's all that's really going around here going on around here i was going to 
um, make pulled pork today so we could do like barbecue style food. But being that plants are up in the air, I don't like to leave the crock pot on when I'm not home. So I did buy steaks and stuff like that. So if we're back home for dinner and we don't eat out or anything, then we have something good. I'm also gonna make some macaroni salad today. Typically I only make like pasta salads, which is like, you know, balsamic vinegar, red wine vinegar, and then like your salami and cheeses. So I'm gonna make a traditional like deli style. I found a recipe online. We're gonna try that today and see how that works out. I feel like I'm kind of losing my voice and I don't really know why. But anyways, I figured I would talk to you guys a little bit. It's just been a crazy busy weekend. Ryan's on call, so we're kind of like all over the place, which also kind of put a damper on what our plans could be today, just because I don't wanna make it more stressful than it needs to be. But, fingers crossed, no calls. Dinner's done and off the grill, so I'm gonna plate mine. Got a little steak. I just, ooh, that's hot. I just wrapped the corn in foil with some butter. And we threw it on the grill just like that and it worked out perfect. I was gonna make a Caesar salad, but I think we got enough going on right now. And then earlier I finished the pasta salad. I just added some mayo after it sat in the brine for a while. And it is so good. And then we were talking about going and getting some ice cream. So we'll probably do that after dinner. We're finally watching House of Cards after so many people have recommended it. And it's good so far. So that's what we're doing. We're just sitting outside. Our neighborhood does like tons of fireworks. There's always fireworks for all the holidays. So we'll watch that. And it's been a good day.